Assalamu alaikum and a lovely, lovely, lovely morning to all of my students and whoever is watching this video. I hope and pray as always that you are all in very, very good health and enjoying another beautiful present from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A beautiful new day, amazing day with so much for us in it. And we are going to uh, do everything and um, or share everything with all the energy because we're all in good health alhamdulillah 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 and that is the biggest biggest blessing from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from all of the millions and trillions and trillions of the blessings so um you should be happy and energetic uh, because you have you wake up alive seeing all your family members, they're all in good health, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And um, now we can do everything with a big smile, with energy, with enthusiasm. And that is what we want uh, every day. Um, but there are like some uh, families which are going through very bad days. Um, we should pray for them as well. In Pakistan, in Palestine, and anywhere there are people are in pain, um, you know, the people are suffering. So we should pray for all of them um, uh, because they're all humans. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves them and he wants us to even love every everybody, whoever is there. We should love every single human being and we should pray and we should uh, care for them. So you should be grateful if you are in a comfortable situation in your good health. So please, please, please uh, be grateful for whatever you have. So um, yeah, that was a little um, message kind of thing uh, because we should uh, pray for the people around us daily, on daily basis, we should do that uh, because it's, it's, it's good. It's good to pray for uh, all of us, for each other, uh, for the people around us, for our family, for our friends, for the people we know. Um, maybe if they are uh, going through some bad patch of life, or maybe if they're all healthy, even then we should pray uh, for uh, uh, anything good for them, right? So, um, and make this um, your habit to pray for yourself first, then your family, your friends, your relatives, and everybody, every single person on earth, we should pray for everybody's uh, like health and for their uh, good life, okay? So uh, we are in our literacy class right now, and um, uh, we are going to learn the recognition of alphabets. Right, you know the alphabets now. We have traced almost, almost all. There are like six left, right? Uh, you know, six T U V W X. Yeah, seven left only. But that's okay. You know now how to trace. Your fingers are ready. Your uh, motor skills are developed. Now I hope that, yeah, and you're all writing very well. So I'm really happy. So we are not going to do the rubbing exercise, but says we can like move our fingers and move our fist to get ready for writing as well. But right now we are not writing anything. We will be just uh, recognizing uh, the alphabets. But yes, we'll be holding the pencil in our hand. Um, Right, you can just um, take the pencil. Um, and today we are going to do yeah. Today, even our friend Hippo. Yeah, how are you, Hippo? Good. You don't seem so happy today. Are you okay? That's great. You should be happy. So, uh, take out A to M, your book, and are you going to take out page number uh, five? Page number. Right, okay. Now this says that you are going to circle the words uh, that begins with the letter on each object, right? Yeah, don't focus on the picture, right? Picture is not important. The letter is important right now, okay? The alphabet is important, okay? So this is the page number five, which we're going to do today. So don't focus on the picture because you are only going to color the picture at the end. Right, so you're going to only focus on the alphabet, which is um, here on the picture, right? Now, what is the alphabet on the first picture? 
Yes, this is D, D. The, this is the mix uh, case, right? Uh, D and D, the a big D and the small D, right? Okay, now there are like four words that are written over here. Now we are going to read the words first and then we are going to recognize. And oh, yes, we will be needing the pencil because we have to circle. How are you going to circle without the pencil? Sorry. Okay. Right? So, D, D. So the first is D A D. This makes yeah, very good. Dad, dad, right? So we are going to circle only the, 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 the. Now, how many does are there? How many? Dad, da, dad, da, da. yeah, there are two, very good. So what we are going to do is we're going to hold the pencil and we are going to circle Okay, circle the word that begins. Okay, so we need to circle this word because this begins with the D. Okay, that's great. That's lovely. Okay. Now the second is D O G, dog, dog. Yes, dog, dog, dog. Yes, this starts with. The dog, very good. So you need to circle this as well. Okay. Okay, the next one is bed, bed, bed. Yes, there is D in it, but we are going to circle the word that starts, that begins with the letter, right? So the, whichever starts with the. So bed starts with. B, okay. Then we have a hop, H O P, hop. It's not dub, hop, okay. So, the, the, there's no the sound, okay. So, we only have two words over here starting with the the, with the dog, uh, sorry, dad and dog, dad and dog, okay. That's good. Now, we have another word. Judge, 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 jelly, jelly, yeah, jelly, jug. What did else we do? Juice, we did juice, we did jelly, we did jaguar, jelly, juice, jaguar, jet. Yes, we did jet as well. Okay, now look at the first word J E L L Y, jelly, jelly, judge, jelly, jelly. Yes, okay. So we are going to circle j jelly. Okay. Now the second is H O U S E. This says house. House. Does this match with this? No. Okay. So we are going to color, uh, circle this. Okay. J U G jug. Jug. J J J J. Jug, are you going to circle that? Yeah, because that's the same sound. I'm going to circle it nicely. I didn't make a, it's not a circle. Okay, I'll make a circle. I'll make a circle too. Mm, yeah, this is better. This is not circle, I'm sorry. Okay, then we have C-L-A-W-S. Claws doesn't go with the sound j, right? Okay, so we're gonna leave that. Now we have w. Okay, we're going to do w. M a n man. Mm. W says w, w man. I n n. Then w a s. Does it go with this? Yay. Now we're going to circle was. Okay. And the second one is W A double L wall. Does this go like this? Yeah. This is the capital one and this is the 
small one. That's great. So you're going to circle both of them, right? Okay. I'm going to come to the next one. This says R, 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 right? R, right. Okay. So this is C O R N, corn, corn, K, corn. No. Then W I N G, wing, wing. No. Okay, then R I N G, ring. Right. Ring. Okay. Ring. So you're going to circle that, yes. Okay, now we have, okay, R-I-S-E, rise. R-I-S-E, rise. And rise is this small r, right? So we're going to circle this as well. Okay, that's great. So you see, this is how we are going to recognize the alphabets, right? And uh, as I tell you before, you're going to practice more and more and more on the four lines, writing all the alphabets on the four lines, because eventually then later on, you'll not be writing on the four lines, but you will know the formation, leaving the finger space between the alphabets right now, and then leaving the uh, finger space between the words later on right so um uh, you'll be practicing more and more and more both like the mixed case you're probably you're uh, going to practice that right the capital and the small both okay so um this is uh, what we have uh, done today uh, for the recognition of alphabets and i hope you now understand the uh, capital letters and you understand the uh, small uh, letters as well because we have almost done all of them and uh, there are only some of uh, them are left okay so we will do one more recognition and uh, just flip the page turn the page i mean sorry turn the page okay now they, they, this says that circle the word that does not match the other three words Okay, so we're going to even look, we have just recognized the alphabets. Uh, we are just now trying to recognize the words as well, okay? Now look at the first one. And because you will be only focusing on the first one right now. So I just put some paper over here. Okay, just have a look at this only. Okay, now first of all, you can do read this, right? A and T and now you recognize you can you can recognize the alphabets right A and T and A and T and A oh no this is not the same this what is it S yeah A good N yes D this says sand sand right and 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 sand so which is the odd one out which is not the same it does not match yes sand does not match so you are going to circle this one okay now we're going to come to the next one okay now this says F A N fan H E N hen F A N fan F A N fan. Okay, now which one is not matching? Fan, 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 hen. Now, yes, hen is not matching. This is H E N hen, right? F A N fan. F A N fan. So you just circle this, okay? Yes, okay. Now the third one is this. This sounds the same, uh, but looks this one, okay? Now kick, K I C K kick, K I C K kick, K I C K kick, S I C K sick, 
Cake, 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 and sick. Yay. Okay. Kick, 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 and sick. So which one is not matching? Yeah, because this is sick. This one is not matching, right? So we are going to settle this. That's great. Okay. Now the second last. N O T not. N O T not. H O T hot. N O T not. Yay. Which one is not matching? Not, not, hot, not. The sound here is <sighs> so this is not matching. So you can just circle this. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, the last one. Okay, now this is Z A P Zap. Z A P Zap. Mm, T A P Tap. Z A P Zap. So Zap, Zap, Tap, Zap. T T T T T is different, right? So you can just circle this. Okay. Yeah, that's great. So you can recognize the uh, alphabets and that's why that it's very easy for you to recognize the words as well, right? So you are going to practice this again and again and again, right? The sounds of the alphabets, uh, the tracing of the alphabets, writing them in the four lines, leaving the finger space, right? So you'll be practicing that at home. And doing all that, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Yes, I remind you. And I hope you're not forgetting to wash your hands frequently. Not going out much because uh, still for the uh, students, for the kids, we love you. We take care about you. Uh, we care about you. Uh, so we don't want you to, um, God forbid, get sick. So please frequently wash your hands. Uh, don't touch your mouth. Um, no shaking, shaking hands even these days. Only elbow bumps or maybe there's not even need for elbow bumps as well, right? But do go out, uh, do go out for cycling, uh, do go out in the park as well for walking and cycling. Uh, that's even good for a, a, a couple of like minutes. It's always good to breathe fresh air, but try not to meet uh, many people because that will not be safe, okay? So this was our literacy class in which we have learned about the recognition of the alphabets and I hope you've enjoyed that. So we'll be going to see each other soon in the next class, inshallah. Till then, as I say, that please, 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 please stay safe, be home, be happy and be grateful for whatever you have, okay? So till then we see each other. I'm going to say bye-bye and Allah Hafiz.